God, we thank you. God, we praise you. God, we magnify your great name. Now, God, I know not what to say. I don't have the ability to know. But God, if you give me a word that will be helpful, fruitful, and beneficial to these, the great people of the Lord, we'll take no credit and we'll take no glory, but it all belongs to you. In Jesus' name. Now, come on, clap your hands one more time and give God glory. The house has been addressed. I'm not going to go there, but I'm going quickly to the book of Joshua. The book of Joshua. The sixth chapter and the 20th verse is my bishop here. I got to give honor to the greatest bishop in the world, the Bishop Alfonso Denson. Come on, give it to him, everybody. Joshua, the sixth chapter and verse 20 says, So the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets. And it came to pass, the people heard the sound of the trumpet. And the people shouted with a great shout. Walls fell down flat. So the people went up into the sea, every man straightway before him, and took the city. If you uh, don't mind and you ain't too mean looking, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, your victory is in your shout. Y'all ain't going to help me, but I feel like it anyway. Look at another neighbor that ain't too mean looking and say, your victory is in your shout. Yeah. The devil wants to get many of the people of God not to open your mouth. Because the Bible said life and death is in the power of the tongue. We had a theme in this church under the late Bishop J.O. Patterson, and it said, I cannot afford to be silent. The problem with many of us uh, is we have allowed the devil to silence our shout. Y'all ain't hearing me. I'm not talking about a shout with your feet. Because you got to understand, you shout with your mouth and you dance with your feet. And I stop by to tell you, your victory, your healing, your breakthrough is all in your shout. If you can open your mouth, God said, I'll bring deliverance to your house. If you open your mouth, I'll bring victory to your house. High five your name and say, don't lose your shout. And so here in the text, uh, and I don't want to be long, but uh, here in the text it says here that he told them uh, for one to for six days, uh, I want you just to open your mouth, just don't say nothing, but just march. The problem with many of us, uh, we want to tell God about his business. But I understand and I must convey to you that if God gave you instructions, you got to follow his instructions. And I know you got a lot of sense. And I know, I know you got as many degrees as a thermometer. But if God say do it one way, y'all ain't gonna hit me, but I feel like preaching in here. I said if God say do it one way, you got to learn how to obey the instructions that God gives. If you want uh, your miracle, you got to learn how to open your mouth. Because David knew, y'all going to talk to me? David knew the importance of victory because David declared, I killed a bear with my hand. I killed a lion with my hand. And one thing I have discovered, that if you learn how to shout, you'll get your deliverance. If you learn how to shout, 
you'll get your breakthrough. Is there anybody here that made up in your mind? The more the enemy try to fight me, I'm going to shout because my healing is in my shout. My deliverance is in my shout. My breakthrough is in my shout. I don't mean to hold you too long. I got to get out of here. But I need about a hundred people to stand to your feet and tell your neighbor, neighbor, don't let what you see stop what you believe. Look at another neighbor, and I'm going to my seat, Donovan. What you see, stop what you believe, and I'm going to my seat now. But what you mean, preacher? I may be sick, but I ain't gonna let my sickness stop what I believe because he was wounded. For his transgression, he was bruised. For his iniquity and the chastisement, are y'all here with me? I don't care what it looks like. I got to shout my way to my healing. Shout my way to my deliverance. I'm not, and I'm quitting right here. I'm not going to wait till the battle is over. But what I'm going to do in my dilemma, what I'm going to do in my trial, 